Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for May the 8th of 2021. Well, it is titled Deepscape at Yakorite. And what do we see here? Well, this is an image of an ancient Andean archaeological site in the northwestern part of Argentina. And we see uh, up in the sky a number of stars, in fact, a vast number of stars. And we see so many because we happen to be looking in the direction of the plane of our galaxy. And we can see the bright star Scorpius, which looks very yellow here and actually has yellow surrounding it, which was is a type of reflection nebula. Now a yellow reflection nebula is actually quite unusual. Typically, the uh, reflection nebula looks blue as we see around the star just to the left of this one, uh, which is Rho Ophiuchi. And that one has a more traditional blue uh, a reflection nebula, but the yellow one around Antares looks significantly different. Now to get an image like this and to be able to see this much detail, it takes a very long exposure. So a number of exposures of the stars uh, were taken and then a separate image of the sky of the land. Now that has to be done separately if you're going to take a long exposure because if you're tracking the sky as things appear to rise and set due to the Earth's rotation, then you're going to blur out the land. And if you take an image where the land is clear, then you will see trails in the sky. So it takes multiple images in the case like this to be able to get such an image and to be able to see both the foreground part of planet Earth here and the sky as well. Also with the longer exposure we are able to see a much wider variety of brightnesses so a larger range of brightnesses. So even if you had been at this location while you would get a beautiful sight of the night sky you would not be able to see near the detail that is shown in an image like this. And that's because a camera can be exposed for a much longer time than our eye bringing out far more detail and allowing fainter objects to be seen. So if you looked at this here, you would certainly see the brighter stars and some of the fainter ones which would get blurred together. But some of the faintest objects would not be visible just to your naked eye. You would actually need a pair of binoculars or a telescope to be able to see them. So one of the reasons astronomy advanced so much with the development of photography was that we were able to see objects far fainter than could be seen with the naked eye even through a telescope. So that was our picture of the day from May the 8th of 2021. It was titled Deepscape at Yakorite. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture, previewed to be around Orion. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day everyone, and I will see you in class.